So welcome to the first of a series of videos that we're producing that give insight into some of the rare books that we have here in the collection of the Iron Library. Uh, today's edition is a very topical one. We're going to be looking at pandemics and how some of them, in one case perhaps quite literally, have left their mark here on the collection. Uh, pandemics have a very long recorded history uh, and Pliny wrote about how Hippocrates dealt with a pandemic that spread from Illyria in the 5th century BC, uh, dispatching his students to the different Greek cities with information about how to distance, how to uh, fight the disease. Um, that pandemic was typhus, but perhaps the most infamous pandemic to strike in history was the Black Death, the second pandemic of bubonic plague that struck in the 14th century. Um, the pandemic spread from Eastern China through Central Asia to Southern Asia, to Arabia and to Europe and North Africa. Um, and it arrived in Europe through port cities such as Venice, Messina in Italy and Marseille in the south of France. And the author of this book, uh, Sebastian Munster, was taken in a wave of plague that recurred in 1552. The disease became endemic. And because it had become endemic, uh, various physicians tried their hand at coming up with cures, or at least improving the qualities of medicinal plant extracts that were available up until that point. Uh, an example here is a very beautiful little bound volume. It's from Venice, 1556. Uh, it was a work by Conrad Gessner, the Zurich physician and polymath, in which he details how various herbal extracts can be taken using sunlight from um, the plants, uh, as long as they're soaked in the right oils. Um, Gessner was not so fortunate, perhaps. He was also taken by a recurrent wave of plague that struck Zurich in 1565. Um, and he wasn't alone in trying to suggest cures. Uh, so here we have uh, the first English language edition uh, from 1560, uh, 1658 of the 1558 book, as it was first published by Giambattista della Porta. This is natural magic. Uh, it's one of the earliest works of pop science. And in here, della Porta suggests how plague might be fought off using a mixture of old oil and various plants and egg macerated in the sun for several months. Um, it would have been toxic had it been taken, but it was intended to be worn as a perfume, as a strong scent to ward off the toxic air that was thought to spread plague. Um, it certainly would have helped with social distancing. And here in our edition, as you can see, there is some very heavy staining and residues visible on the page where plague cures are detailed. Uh, it's a fanciful interpretation, but it's difficult not to imagine somebody having the book open on a table and hurriedly mixing a cure and splashing the book in the process. So thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to the next.